Hey everybody, Jill from SEO Tool View. Today I'm going to introduce you to Greenflare. So Greenflare is kind of like a low-level screaming frog. It is a crawler that will crawl your website looking for issues. Um, and it's just a very basic low-level crawling tool, um, but I think it really gives a lot of information regarding your meta descriptions, your header tags, uh, broken links, those kind of issues, um, which are some of the easiest to fix and um, give you kind of the biggest bang for your buck, so to speak. The tool is free. Um, it is a tool that you do have to download to your computer. So this is the website, not much to it. It's pretty simple. Um, you just go to download and you can see the different options. Um, they do have a Windows version, a Mac version, and then these are more advanced. Um, you know, if you want to dig into the source code or do it for Python, but most of you guys would need Windows or Mac. So I did download it for Mac, um, and it is an important note that when you download it, it might tell you that it can't open it for security reasons. So you just have to go in and change your settings. Um, it's a secure thing, but you just have to go in and make those simple changes which they outline right here. So once you download it and you get it installed, this I ran a crawl on my old website Two Dogs Design and I just left all the settings as they were so you can see all the pages, it gives me the crawl status, the status code, what kind of t what content type it is. Here's my H1, here's my page title, my meta description. You can change the column widths. Um, it tells me the if there's a canical tag available, um, robots text, the redirect URL if there is a redirect. So like here you can see one for Surfer SEO because I do a, an affiliate link. So it shows me the redirect for that. Meta robots and then robots tag if there is one. Um, so I probably did no index, no follow on. Yeah, so this is for the um, affiliate link that I have. So it does, it pulls every, I just pulled everything on this one. So in links, out links, all that. So now I can just quickly see, and you can do um, filters. So if I wanted to do a filter, just so I can see my 301s, I can do okay. So I only have two 301s, okay, a Gutenberg overview and the Surfer SEO. So I'm looking pretty good there. So I would just reset filters, it'll take me back, and that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it. So this is my crawl, I can go through, take a look at everything, make sure it's good. These settings up here will let you decide how you wanna run it. Maybe you only wanna look at page titles right now. Maybe you only wanna look at your header tags or meta descriptions. Um, you could do external links, internal links, however you wanna run it. Um, you got your directives options, your miscellaneous options. Um, you can crawl resources if you want to see, you know, how your images are doing in JavaScript files. Uh, robots text if you want to respect them or not respect them. Um, threads, I just set this at five. Um, this is more about speed control, but I know this is a small website, so I didn't need to adjust it for anything. Um, this in case you need a login information to access the site. Proxies are used in case you don't want to run it off your own IP. Um, sometimes on, when you're crawling your own things, your IP might get blocked and then you'll have trouble crawling. Proxies are a good idea if you're going to do a lot of crawls. If you're only going to do one once in a while, uh, this probably will never be needed. Exclusions, so if you don't want to run a certain part of your site, if you maybe have a shop and you don't want to crawl that right now, um, you can set this up to exclude that. And then extractions, um, so if you just want to run a crawl with certain selectors, you can do that as well. So that's it. So that is this crawling tool for Greenflare. And again, it is free. I think it's a powerful tool just for getting the basics. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.